It was on January 10th, Stacy says, when her husband came home from work to a very intense smell. He went to the basement and saw a big flood of oil. And when he went to go get a mail, he actually saw a receipt, $300, from Price Oil Company. A $300 receipt that ended up costing them their entire home. The oil company actually put 100 gallons of oil into this non-working fuel oil pipe. The oil company, they went to the wrong house and the pipe went down into the walls and just went over the entire basement. We were homeless. Even though we had someone to say technically we were homeless. It was hard for my family. Just knowing that they weren't going to be in their own home, they were going to be living out of hotels for six months. I mean, having to move from hotel to to hotel every week was very hard on my family. And I just don't want to relive that again. <laughs> so. It was freezing one day, so it was a water burst pipe in the house. So it was a mixture of some of the oil that was left after the hazmat team initially cleaned it up. It was a mixture of oil and water. Pretty much the whole basement had to be gutted out. The initial cleanup was done, but I still smelled the oil and it was still intense. So I tapped into my resources, reached out to Michelle and told her to come by and do an assessment to figure out why am I still smelling this oil even after the whole remediation had been complete. When I went to the basement to assess the situation, the basement had already been restored by the contractors, but the odor persisted. It was very, very strong. And if it has petroleum on it, the flooring's not gonna stick and that was already coming up. So remediation effort was not complete. The contractor did clean underneath the washer and dryer. They moved those pieces out, but they did not move the water heater in order to clean underneath it. The contractor sampled the air and had results and said the house was fine, it was safe. But when you looked at those same results, you realize that the contractor was looking at individual chemical constituents and calling them safe and not looking at them as a whole the additive effects of those chemicals. I don't even know if we would be back in this house if it wasn't for her and her recommendations and her expertise. Professionals like me are not only invested in the immediate needs of your family, but for the long-term health and wealth being of your family. I did reach out to a few people that had a similar incident, and unfortunately they never had an industrial hygienist come out to their home, so they ended up losing their home. So just knowing I had an IH in my corner just makes me forever so grateful. I love my job, I love what I do, and the most satisfying thing is to know that I've made people's lives a little bit better by being assured that they live in a safe, healthy home. Introducing Codename IH, the not-so-secret mission of a particular band of safety superheroes found throughout your community. What is IH? It's an ingenious acronym that provides cover for arguably one of the most important and rewarding career pathways on Earth. Their goal is to protect people from danger at work and in their communities. IH is a special code reserved for those science professionals who use the latest in technology, engineering, and research to anticipate potential hazardous threats that exist all around us. IH professionals are trained to recognize, evaluate, and control these hazards so that our families and friends can return home to us safely. So what does IH stand for? Invisible hero? Incredible hotshot? Impossibly handsome? Hmm. There might be some truth to these. Other aliases include some variation of occupational, environmental, health, and safety. IH really stands for industrial hygiene. This is the science of protecting and enhancing the health and safety of people at work and in their communities. These science professionals are properly called industrial hygienists. The four main pillars of industrial hygiene are anticipate, recognize, evaluate, and control. IHs come from all career paths and workplaces. These are just a few of the many, many types of jobs that IHs hold. And the number of industries that need an IH's help are vast, from the obvious, like chemical companies, to those you may not have thought of, such as insurance companies or public utilities. What kinds of hazards do IHs look for? Safety hazards come from all directions, from chemical agents to biological to psychosocial factors, and more. 
How much money does an industrial hygienist make? You would be surprised. The average salary for an IH with 10 or more years of experience is easily in the six figures. Industrial hygiene is a career path for anyone who loves using science and analysis to help others. To get started in the profession, a simple bachelor's degree and a relevant discipline is preferred. Many companies will help pay for further education and credentialing as well. You want to know more? Visit AIHA.org, the preeminent association for IH professionals. My favorite part about what I do is I don't know what's going to happen that day. <laughs> I might be looking at a chemical safety issue, doing some ventilation testing. There's always something new every day. There's always a new puzzle to solve. My favorite thing about what I do is the travel. <laughs> I love to travel and we have clients all over the world. It is so fun. You get to integrate all these different skill sets and that keeps it really interesting. It also makes industrial hygiene as a profession a little bit customizable. With an industrial hygiene career, you can essentially go practice in every imaginable industry sector that's out there. So there's a lot of different choices that you can make. A lot of us come from different backgrounds or different pathways. Some might be chemists, some might be in the health field, nurses, some are engineers. I am really proud to be an industrial hygienist because I really believe in what we do. I love my job, I love what I do, and the most satisfying thing is to know that I've made people's lives a little bit better. There's a need for talented people in this field, and there will be and are amazing opportunities for people who are excited to do this job. See more IH professionals in action at AIHA.org. Start your hero path today.